Steelers get the win. 27 to 24. Let's go Vegas. John Gruden. How about this? First time in NFL history a coach facing the team he won a Super Bowl with, coaching for the team he defeated. You follow? Yeah, you remember John Gruden, head coach of the Bucs, winning Super Bowl 37 against the Raiders, the team that he coached and is now coaching once again. Coaching for a team who was once on the wrong side of the tough pool with Tom Brady as a patriot. Tom Brady held Buck and watching Derek Carr do some work here with Nelson Aguilar to open the score. A terrific catch by Aguilar. And a key performer for this Raiders offense this season. 11th straight game with a teeny pass for Derek Carr. Let's go to the next Bucks possession. Tom Brady, well, you know, quarterback sneak from a yard out. That's a touchdown. That'll tie it at seven. Brady's second rushing touchdown this season, 24. Of his career. Rob Gronkowski started to come alive a little bit in the win over the Packers last week. Season high, 78 receiving yards. Brady going to Gronk here for 26, all the way down to the Raiders four. Third straight game with 20, 50 plus receiving yards as he works back after a year off. And, well, this feels good. Gronkowski from Brady. Second straight game with a touchdown grab on National Tight Ends Day. And with it, Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, tying Steve Young and Jerry Rice for second all-time most touchdowns by a quarterback receiver duo in NFL history, including the playoffs. Later in the second, Bucks ball, up four. Brady, look at this dive to Scotty Miller. On the money. 16% completion probability according to the next-gen stats here, and that is the most improbable completion for Brady this entire season, and it goes to Miller for a 33-yard touchdown. He has six for 109 on the day. Bucks up 21, 10 at the half, up 24, 10 here, midway through the third. Oh, but it's Aguilar again as Derek Carr tries to bring the Raiders back, finding him for 44 yards. Aguilar over 100, and Derek Carr to Darren Waller this time to cap off the drive in the end zone. The Raiders down 24, 17. Waller, six catches, 50 and a touch. Fourth quarter, Bucks ball up for Tom Brady. Looking for Mike Evans, who's a bit quiet on the day and would remain that way here, although going to get the flag on Trayvon Mullen after he was beat. That would extend the drive, and Brady's going to take advantage. Up 24-20, adding to it with a strike to Chris Godwin between a couple of defenders on the move. Second touchdown this season for Godwin gets the Bucks a 31-20 lead. Nine catches, 88 on the day, and that score for Chris Godwin. The Raiders after the Godwin touchdown. Derek Carr looking for Nelson Aguilar. Trips, tips, rather, and it's picked off by Antoine Winfield Jr. First career, first career interception for the second round rookie out of Minnesota. Derek Carr, two touchdowns in that interception, and the Bucks take advantage. Ronald Jones punches it in. Two touchdowns, less than a minute. Bucks going to win it. 45 to 20.